Hi, this is Chet. We're going to talk about the density at the inlet of your fan. So why do we care that it's at the inlet of your fan? Well, that's where you're specking where you want your volume and your pressure is based on the inlet conditions of the fan. So at the inlet, what we need to know to correctly determine our density, we need to know the temperature, the elevation of the installation, and we also need to know what that negative inlet pressure is. So what's the vacuum at the inlet required to pull the air in? The fourth factor is the moisture content in our air. So for purposes of this, of this video, we're going to ignore the moisture content because it doesn't affect our density very much. We're going to focus on the temperature and the elevation mostly and then cover the inlet pressure as well. So temperature. Standard conditions would say 70 degrees Fahrenheit with an elevation of zero and an inlet pressure of zero, giving us 0 0.075 pounds per feet cube. That's what you'll see on most applications when someone doesn't indicate density, they want you to give them standard conditions. If you do want actual conditions, specifying your temperature, specifically on really hot fans, is required because it's going to change your density greatly. So even at 100 degrees, 150 degrees, your density factor already goes down to where you're at 0 0.065, 0 0.06 pounds per feet cubed and can change your volume quite a bit as you relate it back up to your volume and your static pressure. Your elevation doesn't have as great an impact as your temperature on your density, really until you get into the 1,000 plus feet elevations it doesn't have a huge impact on your overall density calculation. But you really need to take it into effect for your mountainous regions where you've got 3,000, 4,000, up to 15,000 feet elevation. And it can greatly affect your densities up at those elevations. Your negative inlet pressure, for the most part, that's not going to affect your calculation too much unless you're under a great vacuum at your inlet. Let's say you've got a pressure blower and you're pulling through 60 inches of water and it's all negative from your inlet side pulling it through a system. That will affect your density calculation by approximately nine thousandths of pounds per cubic feet. So that's where inlet pressure can really have an impact on your overall density calc.